Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm packing up, I'm going on a trip, and I wanted to make sure I had all of my first aid supplies. What I like to do is keep it all in a Ziploc bag, and I go on, make a list of everything I like, and I tape it on the inside of the bag. Then I fill up the bag, and I can easily look into it wherever I am and see what's in it. Sometimes I'll then stick that into a red bag if it's going like into my carry bag, like my day outing bag. And then if I have to send somebody to get it, I can say grab the red first aid bag. But if it's just going in my suitcase for travel, I always keep an extra one in there. I keep it in a thing like this. So I'm going to show you the kind of things that I keep in there that are necessary for me. I like to have some eye drops a nail file clipper. I always carry some earplugs because I never know when I'm going to be around shooting things, which I like to do. So it's always good to have those. Plus they're handy if you're on an airplane and you want peace and quiet or if you're in a noisy place and somebody's snoring, whatever. I don't ever like to sleep with them, but I always tell myself I could. I uh, have a little bottle here that's got all kinds of medicine in it like Tylenol and baby aspirin and Aleve, things like that. Then I have some Pepto-Bismol and some allergy pills. I have some little cotton balls and Q-tips. I have some Xylactin samples that I got. They're supposed to help with mouth sores. I have some allergy pills. I have some gum. I have a hair band with one of those little clippies that you can clip your hair back with. I like those. And to me, if I need my hair out of my eyes so I can see what I'm doing, that's first aid. I've got some glasses, I have a pad and a pen, and some Kleenex, and zip ties. You would be amazed what you could do with zip ties. I don't know if I've told you, but one time we were in a car accident, and I whipped out my zip ties, and the other guy's bumper was laying on the ground, and we were able to hook together some zip ties and hook their bumper back up onto their frame of their car so they could get going. Then they didn't need a tow truck in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I have some little sewing kits I've picked up along my travels. I like to have some needles and thread. I have some lubricating jelly, which is like Vaseline. I have some baby ointment, which I don't have any first aid cream right now, so I have that in here. I have some wet wipes. One of them is anti-germ, so I don't know where my hand sanitizer went. That's on my list. I need to get some. I have some alcohol wipes. I have band-aids. I like to get the cloth band-aids. They stick to your skin much better than plastic, so look for the cloth ones if you can find them, and if not, at least be sure you have some. I have a big piece of mole skin. You can trim this to the size that you want and stick it on your foot or wherever. I have this little pad I found that you can stick over your toe if you get a sore toe. I have some liquid bandage, a couple of chapsticks, I have some dental floss. It's also good if you need string or something. I have a little flashlight here. You just push on it. It lights up. So then if I need to, I can look in the bag and see things. And I put this little pocket knife in here. It's a little cheapy. It's similar to the ones that I love that are made by, like, Swiss Army Knife. But this one's made in China. But it does have little tweezers and little scissors. And I only put the cheapy one in there because sometimes I forget and end up with these in my carry-on and they ended up getting taken away in the airport. So I figured I'd rather lose a cheapy one than continue to lose the good ones. Anyway, these are all the things that I carry and uh, I enjoy taking care of myself and knowing that I have everything and I've actually used everything in here at a time or one time or another. So figure out what you need, the things that actually happen to you I realize if somebody accidentally severs a limb, I'm not going to be able to help them very much, but I, that's not the kind of emergency that I'm preparing for. I'm preparing for things that I think will actually happen to me and things that will keep myself and my family going. Okay, so these are the things I have. I'm going to load them all up into my little bag. And I've got one to go in my suitcase, and then I'm going to make another one up to put in this red bag and just stick the whole plastic bag into the red bag uh, to put into my uh, daily outing bag just so when I go out again with the little guys or even my sweetie I can say go get the first aid kit and they'll know what I'm talking about. So figure out what you need, get it together, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
Get the things you need. Put something together, mark it, and carry it with you. You'll be so much happier if you know that you're ready for things as they come along. And have a wonderful day.